Hey everyone, welcome back to Brian's Mysteries and Adventures on Trail. Today we're going to be talking about the disappearance of Janet Casterdon, who disappeared on June 19th of 2015 in Rustler Park, which is in southern Arizona. As always, I'm going to have various maps up. Here is a general idea to give you an idea where in the United States it's located. Here are some more close-up maps. Janet, who was 44 at the time, had gone on this trip with her family. She was the oldest of four siblings. Unfortunately, when she was younger, she had suffered a traumatic brain injury in a car accident in 1988 when she was only 18 years old, causing various memory problems, partial blindness. Now, at the time of the crash, she had just completed her first semester at New Mexico State University where she was studying computer science. She remained in a coma for three months after the accident. Now, during this trip, she went to this part of southern Arizona known as the Chirachua Mountains. I'm sure I butchered that name, so go ahead and butcher me for it. Her family was from Las Cruces, New Mexico. It was roughly a three and a half hour drive. According to reports, nothing substantial happened along the way. They stopped at an IHOP for some food. They arrived at their intended campground roughly around 2.45 p.m. She was there with her parents and her siblings. Now, this area of Rustler Campground is among various access roads that were made because there is a big, beautiful meadow area and they wanted to keep these areas away from that from possibly damaging or campers leaving trash or anything like that. They set up camp after which they had a lunch. About an hour later, her mother Lydia asked Janet if she wanted to go for a walk. Janet wasn't really feeling up to it, but after some conversation, they decided that they would both walk together. They walked about a thousand feet from where their motorhome was camped down a curved path to where the pay station was located where in general all these established campgrounds have pay stations where you put an envelope sign up where your campsite is put the money in and deposit it in that way her mother did that and about 300 feet away from this pay station according to lydia there was a bathroom and she needed to use the restroom when her mother came out of this particular restroom, Janet was nowhere to be seen. She thought that Janet most likely just decided to head back to the campground. She did find this odd, however, because she was only in the bathroom for a few minutes. She apparently very obviously became very worried. She returned to their motor home and discovered that Janet was nowhere to be found there. Her husband, Eduardo, is quoted in saying, My wife ran up to our campsite seeing if she had made it back up here but i was here and never saw her she never got back we immediately started searching for her asking other campers on her way over there janet was roughly 5'3 weighing 250 pounds she was last seen wearing a white t-shirt with black lettering blue jeans white tennis shoes with a red stripe on them there was no sign of her anywhere they and her family, of course, searched in and around all the possible trails in and around the area. They immediately contacted the Cochise County Sheriff's Office and Search and Rescue. They immediately began a search for Janet around 12.30 a.m. That evening, they searched until 6 a.m. They took a break because of obvious reasons. They started back around 9 a.m. They deployed various teams via helicopter, more ground teams. They were unable to find any signs of Janet, any of her clothes, nothing was found. It was like Janet had vanished into thin air. They brought in various sniffer dogs. These dogs were given various items that Janet had been wearing recently. They were unable to pick up any scent in and around the bathroom and in between the area of the camper and where the bathroom and the pay site was located. This area is quite rugged. There's various terrain. They thought that she might have wandered into one of the various wilderness areas outside the campsite. Those areas were also searched. Nothing was found there either. The family, one of her brothers, Fabian, said that there wasn't enough effort to begin with, referring to the search efforts by the 
Cochise County Sheriff's Office, but you know, families are always ultra worried. They always want more help. I don't know, I can't speak specifically because I know that they did an extensive search, that there was nothing found. The family believed that Janet must have been abducted. They believed that someone must have pulled up in a car, took her away because there was no footprints, nothing found that could have led to anywhere where she could have been. The detectives and authorities working this case had no particular theory on how she could have disappeared. They're quoted in saying there's no way she could have strayed too far. This particular campground is landlocked and the only way she could have gotten out of the campground is in the way she came in, which would have been via a vehicle of some kind. There's no cliffs or anything that you could have fallen off of or no major river that she could have fallen into and drowned or anything like that. Sadly, after weeks of searching, the case just stalled out, and no one really knew what could have possibly happened to Janet. That was until almost three years later, on August 5th of 2018, and a hiker named Amanda was hiking in the same area, and she came upon what she thought to believe was human remains as well as a braid of hair. She immediately contacted the Cochise County Sheriff's Office. They, of course, sent out detectives. They brought in their forensic investigators. They flew out a helicopter. They were able to retrieve the remains that were found. They were brought back to the Tucson Medical Examiner's Office. After several weeks, they were able to identify via DNA that this indeed was Janet. Because so much time had passed, they were not able to identify exactly what happened. Based on their investigation and what the medical examiner's office reported, they said that there was no obvious signs of foul play. The odd thing about this was that her remains were found less than a mile away from where she was last seen near the campground. Although this brings some closure to the family, they still have no idea what could have happened to their beloved Janet on that day. They were all having a great day. She was obviously able to call out for help. They just don't understand what could have happened. I want to dedicate this video to Janet, her family, her friends, all her loved ones, everyone who helped work to try and find her, and of course to the hiker that did help bring her back to her family. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all are having a great weekend or whenever you may possibly watch this video. Special thank you to co.ag for providing the background music. Hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Take care. Hey everyone, thanks for sticking with me to the end. I just wanted to remind everybody that I leave detailed case descriptions. Often, sometimes, if there's an, a case update after I've already posted the video, I will leave information in the description for those of you that might be interested in that. I want to also say thank you for all those that have donated. If you wish to make a donation to the channel, all my information is in the description. I really appreciate it. It all goes such a long way. If you have any case suggestions or calendar submission pictures for next year's merch calendar, you can email me at the email address in the description. I will also be doing the next coin giveaway when that hopefully comes in at the end of this month. If you want to be considered for that coin giveaway, all you have to do is leave a comment saying you want to be entered into the coin giveaway. Maybe leave feedback on this video. Maybe leave a case that you would like me to cover. Anything really. Just let me know that you want to be entered and I will enter you into the coin giveaway. I'm trying to cover recent cases, cases that you guys have suggested, past cases, all types of cases but if this isn't working for you please let me know i really need you guys support to help keep this channel going and everything i'm trying to work for and i thank you for that